just about 15 minutes, I'm gonna show you a really awesome workflow that can help automate lead generation for your sales team. Essentially, what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter in a search term, we're gonna scrape the Google search results, and then we're also gonna classify the results based off of its business type. So essentially taking the URL of a business, its meta description, as well as its title, and then making a classification to see if that business is the right fit uh, for your like B2B sales. You'll need Appify for this video, as well as access to a large language model. But beyond that, it's gonna be like a very simplistic video. And if you need any help with any end solutions for your business or any data needs, I am taking on freelance customers. I have my contact information down below in the description. Feel free to write out the form or email me. Anyways, let's go into this workflow. So this is the workflow which we're gonna be building out today. And while it seems pretty basic, it actually can achieve quite a, a bit. So let me show you what our expected output is going to be. So what I have over here is this spreadsheet, right? And what we have first is a search term. Now, why I have search term is you wanna build out this master sheet for your sales team, right? Maybe you're gonna have 20 or 30 different searches over time and you wanna populate this as well. And you know, this doesn't have to be stuck at like the top 10, we can expand it out and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Okay, next is we're grabbing the title of the website, which we're going through on the search engine, right? We're grabbing the website URL. So we have this over here. And these are just in the order of what they're ranking for uh, when I scraped this. And this is back on um, like three, four weeks ago. But you can see search term, building supply wholesaler Virginia, the title of the website, um, the URL. I shouldn't say title of the website, but the title of this specific page uh, that is ranking for that. The URL that is ranking for that as well. The meta description, right? And then also what I have over here is the business type. Now, maybe I didn't need the meta description that doesn't need to be in here specifically, but I feel like it may help um, the sales team if they're going through this. And then the business type associated with it, right? So you can filter out uh, business types that you don't need. And I'll show you how to get the business type. Is this probably the best approach? Maybe not, but it works pretty well. So let me show you how we do that. All right, so let me go back into any end and we'll walk through essentially how this is built out. It's actually pretty cool. So first thing we're gonna do is have a form submission, right? And essentially what we're gonna do on this form submission is we're gonna have a search query, right? A search term that someone wants to have. Now by default, what I have over here is building supply wholesaler in Virginia, right? And let me just show you what this looks like over here. So I'm just gonna click on to execute step. It's gonna unpin this data. Um, so what I have over here is search query, put in the search term, right? Building supply, submit over here. And you can see that the output is on this side of things. So I'm just gonna pin this data again, so we don't have to go through it. Okay, next side of things. What I did is I went through Appify, right? And I think I put my notes on here for what Appify um, tool I used. I actually didn't, so I'm gonna just load this up over here. All right, so I just searched my Appify account. This is what I was using for it, the Google search results scraper. Uh, this is maintained by Appify, so you don't have to pay uh, dollars per month to rent this one out unlike my recent LinkedIn video where it's $10 a month to rent it out. Um, although it's definitely worth it if you're trying to do some LinkedIn scraping with companies, but check out that video um, after. I'm gonna put this in before in this series. Anyways, um, essentially what you do is you put in search terms over here, you can get results per page and find the different results. Um, I'm just doing one search term at a time, right? As you can tell with this form submission. So uh, you could do a lot if you really wanted to. For this demo, I'm just doing one. Additionally, on this side of things, right? I'm gonna go into this HTTP request. You can see I put results per page into 10. This is actually JSON and I'll show you um, this here in a second. So um, you have the option to go up to 100. I just put 10 for demo purposes, but feel free to go to 100 if you want to. Um, I would assume that there's a trail off point where it's not really worth it anymore. I think 10 is way too short when you're gonna be scraping SERPs, uh, especially for businesses. So if you wanna do like local businesses, maybe you wanna do a 30 search or 40 search, right? Um, I really wouldn't go with 10, unless it's like a very small niche industry. Um, additionally, there's a lot of other filters that you could put in over here if you really want. You can see that advanced search filters. I didn't populate any of this. I just kept it essentially out of the box, uh, minus the 10. Um, to show you what you can send in, right? Here's the JSON that you would want to send over here. Um, and specifically, right, we're gonna be doing a post. So how Appify works on the two actors uh, videos that I have so far, 
Uh, we have post, right? So you're gonna post this over here. You're gonna wait a little bit and then you're gonna get those results, right? So how you get that specifically is you go over here and you click API. And there's a drop down that says API endpoints. And then it says over here, run actor. So make sure you get that post, right? And I like specifying JSON as um, my body, right? So what I did for this query is I just dragged over here, search term into this query, right? And it populates this JSON and then results per page. I hard coded that. Now you could probably just add this into the form, right? And say you want to do 40 searches or 50 searches um, and just, you know, drag this in over here. Maybe it'd be like a better version of this. Obviously, this is just like a very simplistic demo. Um, but if you want to have more than 10, right, you can either hard code it or you can put it in the form and drag it in. All right. So uh, additionally, the other things to mention, right? So I showed you where you can get this run actor. So what you want to do is paste this in over here. Uh, you do want to remove the end part where it says token. So you want to remove that side of things. I won't show you my token, but every account on Appify has a unique token. And what you want to do is set up a generic credential type query authentication. And then you want to create a Google SERP API or not Google SERP Appify, right? Name it token and then put in your value over here. Again, I'm not going to share my credentials with you guys. You're going to have to set up your own Appify account to get this going. Um, but yeah, so there is that on that side of things, right? Then you're going to wait now. Sometimes APIs are going to be really fast. Sometimes they're going to be a little bit slower. So just wait a little bit. I just waited 20 seconds on this side of things. And then I just get the data, right? So then it populates this data. I obviously pinned it because I don't want to have more costs. And then you can see if like we scroll down, we have a lot of information on this side of things, right? So you can see we have the search query over here, the URL right? All this type of information. You have related queries, which could be kind of interesting if you want to have related queries for another search. What I'm more worried about is this organic results. So you can see it starts at zero and then goes all the way to nine. Actually, we have uh, 10 over here. So you could grab these on that side of things, right? And then what I want to do essentially is start pasting these into the Google Sheets, right? So what I have next is I'm going to go over here and start formatting the code. So you can see search term items on the side things. And I, I like using Python. Now you could use JavaScript if you want, but like, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't really use JavaScript. Like I've done a lot of Python coding here on the channel. So we're going through all these different organic results, right? We're getting the title, we're getting the URL, the description, as well as the search term. And then we're going to have this out as JSON, right? And the reason why we're going to do this is we're going to send this into an AI agent here in a second. Right. So again, search term, organic results, output like this. Feel free to copy this code if you want. Again, like if you need any help building out this type of stuff, I do offer any end services, but feel free to copy this. Right. So here's the Python code that we're using. And we have an output over here of a title, URL, right, description, as well as the search term. And I think when I initially built this out, the reason why I have a description is I'm going to send it to this model and over here, which I'll show you this in here in a second. I uh, did kind of predict the business type. So uh, what I actually have, if we go over here to different outputs, right? And this outputted 11 different items, but you can uh, specify which one you want to take a look at. So you can see over here, right? The different titles, the meta descriptions, different things like that for all these across the board. Yep. So they're all in here. What I do next is go into this AI agent. And a few things that are going on. So let me zoom this out. And again, apologies if I don't remember everything. Uh, I built this out a few weeks ago. So what I have over here for a prompt, I said, based on the title, URL description and search term, write a one to five word classification of the business, right? And this goes back into the business type, right? One to five words, which I think is pretty fair. If you have information about the website already based on the URL or business title, right? Use that in your classification because there's going to be some brand names and stuff like that. Um, otherwise it's going to have to look at, you know, the title, the URL description and make an assumption. So what we do is we pass in this title, which we have over here. So just drag and drop the URL, drag and drop description, drag and drop as well as the search term, right? So that's, we're getting in over here. And then what I have over here is I'm using an open AI model GPT 40 mini, right? So a cheaper model on this side of things. 
I'm not showing you how to set up your account on here. Maybe I'll do this as another video if we have enough requests on that side of things. I do think people would like to see that. And then what I have over here is structured output parser. Now, why I like using this is I like getting JSON results, right? Um, this tells our AI agent over here and tells the model, like I want the results to be in JSON format. And I accidentally uh, hit my keyboard as we're doing that, but this will tell us that. And you can see I put generate from JSON example and I just gave the example to one, right? Title, URL, description, search term, and then business classification. So we had everything up over here before we go into the AI agent. And then the business classification is that one to five word uh, summary of the business type, right? Again, there's other ways that you could do it. Um, I find this is probably pretty cost effective, but you could use something like Firecrawl and go through the website and maybe get a better classification on that side of things, or maybe you wanna use perplexity, right? Um, there's a few other ways that you could technically do it. I just built it like this uh, for use case, right? Um, again, very basic. And then lastly, what I do is I go to this Google sheet and I just append row, right? Um, I don't really care about duplicates on this side of things, right? Because the user is gonna do different search terms. They might have 20, 30 searches, right? So I'm, I don't care, append row, I grab the document ID, which is just in the URL. I just append to a sheet. Now you could have specific sheets based off of domains, right? And this is where you could really split this out or different salespeople. Um, I just have one sheet for this demo. And then I just paste in everything over here in the input, which is gonna be the JSON output search term, the title, website, meta description, and then business type. And that's essentially everything that's over here, right? We have our search term, our title, website, meta description, as well as our business type. And yeah, I mean, like it wasn't super complicated to build this out. Oh, the one thing I wanted to show you guys, and I think I accidentally skipped over it, is this get, um, and I apologize, you get this down over here, right? So grab your get and then just paste this in over here. Again, same credentials uh, should work on both of these. So yeah, that is essentially this workflow, right? Super basic, we take a form submission, we go to Appify, we find our actor that we want to use, which I'm using this Google search results scraper. First post, then you wait, then you get. I format the results in this code over here. Knowing Python helps a ton, um, but you can also generate this through ChatGPT if you want, or if you know JavaScript. Um, I know Python, so I prefer that. Then pass this into an AI agent. We use a model, and this side of things, I just use GPT-40 because it's cheap. We have a structured output parser because I would like to see the results as JSON. I find JSON is really easy to integrate into Google Sheets. And I just paste in the results like that. And then our sales guy, um, not my sales guy, but uh, for Matt's agency, can go in over here and go through these uh, businesses and determine if they are good fits or not for some machine learning. Anyways, that is essentially it. And if you guys need any help with any and uh, make sure to hit me up. My contact information is down below. I'm looking to get some freelance customers and really scale this out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks guys for checking out this workflow. Hopefully you were able to learn how to scrape the Google search results. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. This is just one of many NAN workflow videos I have here on the channel. Also, I showed you Python as well, and I have tons of Python coding videos. So if you wanna pick up that skill, it definitely helps out on the NAN side of things. Down below, you'll find my Discord server as well as other NAN videos. And if you want to continue this NAN playlist and continually learn, uh, click right over here.